A group of women in a Jordanian village are fighting patriarchal traditions one solar panel at a time. And that story began in India's Rajasthan state. Our West Asia Bureau Chief Daniele Pagani traveled to the desert close to the Iraqi border to meet these young women. Take a look. In the eastern Jordanian desert, far from the crowded capital city of Amman, life flows very slowly. The Bedouin communities living in these areas still follow their traditional lifestyle, herding goats and camels. And it is in one of these isolated villages that a revolution has taken place. We are in the Jordanian village of Manshi al Gayath, roughly 70 kilometers from the Iraqi border, and we are going to meet a group of ladies who are fighting patriarchy one solar panel at the time. And where did they learn to build these solar panels? Well, in India. Years ago, Rafia Enad took part in a project launched by the Barefoot College, an organization headquartered in the Rajasthani village of Tilonia, which aims at fighting global poverty through a learning by doing approach. But what was all that about? Women from different rural communities would travel to India and learn how to build solar panels. Despite not knowing how to read and write, Rafia left her remote village in the desert for a faraway land she knew nothing about. It was indeed an epic moment and it shook the tranquility of the village. <laughs> She was less afraid than me. I was thinking, how will she survive the nine hours flight to India and in a place she doesn't know, with people she doesn't know. I was really afraid for her safety. I did not even know where India was. I thought about her every night. Then she came back home safe and asked me why I was worried. She told everything was fine and she wanted to go back again. It was definitely not easy. The Bedouin society is strongly male-dominated and many felt her choice was not appropriate for a woman. Plus, they did not believe what she wanted to do was actually possible. Councils had to take place and the Ministry of Environment in person had to intervene. My family encouraged me to do this and they stood by me and pushed me to do it. But the local community in the beginning was not happy. They had doubts about this project and about me working as a woman. But Rafia stood firm and promised to prove them all wrong. She went to India, she learned how to build the solar panel and when she came back she started training other women, both in nearby villages and in the outskirts of Amman. She's still using all her notes from India. This is the final product. There are 80 houses around the village with one of these solar panels. One of these is enough to light five lamps and to recharge mobile phones. Almost all the people who obstructed her in the beginning now have a solar panel in their houses. Rafia's group has also built and sold more than a hundred portable solar lamps, a precious tool in the pitch black darkness of the desert's night. Rafia never stopped working for her community since she came back from India. Her willpower set an example for many of the women in the village. <laughs> We have traditional customs for women. They tell us, don't do this, don't do that, it's a shame. And they tell us that we should not go out alone and that we shouldn't do this and that. Now thank God, Rafia Imad encouraged all us as women living in the village to be more independent and she encouraged us to break barriers and to try to experience life. She made us women of the village better. She made the village to accept her as a woman working on a project. Now they accept us as women working. We also started to learn new things and how to use them for our benefit. We are accepted by our men in the village and we can work. She encouraged me to run for the local council and now I am a member. Rafia 
In a society where women are strictly meant to stay home and take care of their children, Rafia's choice kicked off a revolution which will hopefully pass on to the coming generations. Rafia remembers India with joy and she would travel back even tomorrow if she had the chance to. All of my memories in India are very good memories and that moment changed my life. It is true that when I went to India, I was alone and life was a bit difficult there, but I truly respect the place where I used to live and I have with me many beautiful memories. The people of India are very good, generous and helpful. They used to help us with food, drink, everything we needed. They did not leave us alone. We felt like a family. I would like to thank the people of India and especially the village of Telonia. And she surely remembers the food. <laughs> the women she trained mostly work from their own houses. As of now, their determination is what keeps them going. But more support would be needed to expand this revolution. Rafia's experience is just one example of how much a person can learn and how much what that person learns can change the destiny and the story of an entire community. But it takes the international support, especially if you're a woman living in a conservative society, like the society which lives here, in the desert of Jordan, very close to the border with Iraq. From Jordan, Daniele Pagani for Vion.